Hey folks, I am going to be doing another one of our pack tea tests, full pack tea test with this 1911 Springfield Armory Champion. This is a short barrel pistol with a nice bull barrel. I did some videos on this before, but what we're going to be doing is the full pack tea. That's precision, accuracy, consistency. That is five shots off of the bench. I'll be running the lab radar chronograph. That will be developing our consistency measurement. What is the uh, standard deviation of our muzzle velocities? And my accuracy and precision is going to be measured off of a, well, a fresh target uh, from uh, 15 yards. And then I'll be putting one shot into the clear ballistic, ballistic gelatin from 7 yards. This is a 16 by 6 inch by 6 inch uh, ballistic gelatin block, 20% NATO block, so a little bit tougher block in contrast with the 10% uh, FBI type of block. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm shooting the Spear Gold Dot short barrel. And I uh, kind of want to do this video. Uh, it was requested by some of you, but I want to do this video because if you're carrying a short barrel or you're carrying a concealed carry 45, it's probably going to have a short barrel. So let's see how this round performs terminally in the ballistic gelatin. Hey, thanks for sticking around for our wrap-up. And, uh, you know, interesting stuff once again. Looking at the target, the bullseye target, where we uh, shot our precision and accuracy scores. Uh, you know, I actually shot 10 rounds. I actually had to shoot 10 rounds. Uh, this particular uh, 45, 1911, uh, does not have adjustable sights. And my first five shots flew right up here, right up here. About the same size group. Maybe they were a little bit better group. Uh, but, um, but nonetheless, I then aimed here, right on the edge of the paper, directly below the bullseye, and shot this five-shot group. One dead in the X ring, so that's good. And then all the rest, of course, pulled to the side. Uh, the other group was, was exhibiting a similar type of group pattern. So it's okay. Uh, not the greatest, but 41 points, one in the X, um, extreme spread, three, almost three and a half inches, and uh, 19 feet per second standard deviation on those muzzle velocities. Now, I have shot this spear gold dot previously. In fact, uh, on my previous tests, we uh, used, or I used, one of my favorite um, 45 ACP. Well, I also really like my 1911s, uh, but, but this is my HK45 tactical threaded barrel. And I used this pistol for the Spear Gold Dot 230 grain bullet. That's the standard Spear Gold Dot. And then we also shot back to back the Spear Gold Dot short barrel, which is what we did today. This one gave us somewhat different results. In particular, or specifically, the um, precision extreme spread was under an inch for that five-shot group, also at 15 yards, 0 0.90 of an inch with this uh, HK pistol. With the Short barrel, I had a 1.87, pretty much double the size of the group. So this, uh, this uh, load that I'm using doesn't work quite so well, it seems, for the short barrel 
uh, as it does for the standard spear gold dot. The accuracy score, as you can see, was a 44 points. I didn't get any in the, in the X, uh, but 36 points for the uh, short barrel version. Consistencies were pretty darn similar, hanging right around the 20s. I uh, actually got a pretty decent consistency score of 17 feet per second, standard deviation of those muzzle velocities with the uh, short barrel spear gold dot. Muzzle velocities, you know, pretty similar, hanging around 860 feet per second, not too different. And of course, the resulting energy is slightly different, but pretty darn similar again. And that is driven, of course, by the mass, 230 gram bullet, multiplied uh, by the velocity squared. That's effectively the, um, the calculation that we are, of course, using. So the pack part of the test turned out pretty darn similarly uh, with this Springfield Armory Champion 1911. This one has a 4-inch barrel, the HK45 Tactical, a 5 and a quarter inch barrel, and uh, it's a nice little gun. And as you can see, this, just like the other, uh, is absolutely empty as well. Let's talk about the terminal performance of that short-barreled uh, spear gold dot. This is the bullet that I extracted from the ballistic gelatin. Recall that that is a 20% NATO block. And we had 10 and 3 quarter inch, 10.63 inch penetration, retaining 100% of the weight of that bullet and uh, 0 0.49, about half an inch. Uh, in retained length. Now the retained length is important uh, because recall that this assists that bullet uh, to drive it forward in a straight path. So we do like to see a nice uh, retained length on these bullets. This bullet expanded 137 percent which is kind of different than what we were seeing uh, when I was shooting this same bullet with the uh, HK45T, but not, I guess, not too terribly different, all hanging right around 140% expansion. The overall score for this bullet is 405 points, and whenever we break 400 points, that's a good bullet. Did a good job for us uh, terminally. Somewhat different results compared to the uh, short, the same bullet when it was fired through the HK45 Tactical, we only had a 362 uh, point and uh, final score. Now, why is that? I think that that reduced score has all to do with the penetration. Remember that there's three different uh, components or a few different components to the overall scoring. One of those components uh, is, or factors, is the penetration. We didn't get quite as much penetration when we were shooting this bullet out of the uh, HK45 Tactical, and I think that is entirely uh, the reason why it didn't score quite so high. So what we're seeing then, if you are going to use a 45 ACP for personal defense, everyday carry, it would be kind of difficult for a lot of us to carry a pistol like this. I mean, we can certainly take off the flashlight, um, in some cases, you won't need that or maybe might not need that. But this is still a pretty good sized pistol. And trying to uh, conceal this is going to be much more difficult compared to concealing this. Right? Much smaller package overall. Uh, but understand that just because this has a 4-inch barrel, doesn't, that's not the only part that's going to make it more readily concealable. This certainly helps. Overall, it's just a smaller package anyway. But um, this is the part that always prints. And you can get some uh, 45s, 1911s even, that have what they call a bobtail um, type of grip. You can also get those that have a fairly shortened grip. The problem with those is where does that pinky go, right? If you have fairly large hands 
or even hands larger than mine, you're going to have that pinky probably riding underneath the mag, and it just doesn't give you the grip uh, that you would like to have when firing a pistol, especially a 45 ACP that has much more recoil than the 9mm. You know, those are important considerations if you're going to do uh, concealed carry or personal defense type of carrying. Don't forget to think about those sort of things uh, when you're choosing what pistol or what firearm you're going to be using uh, for that sort of situation. And don't forget to practice. What we saw today is that a gun of this size, 4-inch barrel, 1911, perform just as well as the Bigger Brothers, but I specifically chose that short-barreled uh, Spear Gold Dot, which was designed to perform well in a short-barreled package. So, thanks a bunch for watching. We've got some more Pack t stuff coming up. We're going to be doing some more 9mm with the Federal HST, uh, so I hope you catch that one as well. If you have any questions, Post those in the comments below. And once again, thanks for watching.